How are we doing everybody? Welcome to a behind the scenes look at the very first hydro destination, Japan! Woo! One of my favorite things was actually seeing Mount Fuji for the first time. Headed out in these very small little launches to, to check out the waterway of uh, Lake Kawaguchi where we were rowing. I feel like you guys are gonna have that experience as well when you join one of our rows. Um, that happens every time you just turn a corner and then you see the mountain and it's just breathtaking. We filmed on Lake Kawaguchi and it's you know right outside Mount Fuji but around the lake was this really nice somewhat continuous like uh, rail trail type cinder trail. Going by these beautiful gardens too. Oh, yeah. 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 Little villages yeah, yeah. too, little bridges. So uh, we'd go on runs, you know, while we were waiting for the other people to film, whether before or after. So that was like a good little rhythm for, for a week to get into that. We also got the opportunity to go check out some really cool historical sites. Uh, we went to Trito Pagoda, which was uh, kind of on looking Fuji, where you can see the pagoda with Fuji in the background. Beautiful paved path to get up there. It's windy, there's like little hikes that go off of it. And you see it in all the like the postcards and tourist stuff and at the airport. And then to actually go and be in that site and seeing that pagoda with Fuji in the background, again, on a super clear day, uh, it was really cool. That was wild. Well, I gotta say, I love the food there. I mean, we tried so many delicious things. You know, uh, we, we'd be sitting around these little grills doing wagyu, uh, wagyu, 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 tomato, tomato. <laughs> Let's hear Elaine say it. I don't want it. <laughs> Following the sushi when we did the, the shabu shabu, oh, where, you, where yeah. you put this meat shabu, shabu. in this broth and it cooked and it was oh. just like, it was so hands-on. Yeah, we went to Shibuya Crossing once. Oh yeah. gosh. I don't, there was like a thousand of people, a thousand people there. It's wild. And is it, it's the most uh, busy cross walk in the, world. in the entire world. And he would be like, go, 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 yeah, go, 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 We got some good photos on it. <laughs> the modernization of Japan in general was insane. Like we got to go golfing with Jimmy, our camera operator, and we didn't even have to drive our golf carts. We had the remote control and it would just drive itself. A few years ago, we went to Vegas and we planned a special episode, and that was the first time we had like uh, four people in the same row. We had like our effects guy put in some, you know, what, what do you call those again? The gambler? Whatever. Yeah. So we planned this like first time ever having four people. Um, rowing next to each other side by side. And that's like something so hard to do. We yeah. couldn't have gotten better water for it. Kind it was water. it was glass, yeah. the, the weather was wonderful. Mm -hmm. And yeah, yeah, you set the tone early by, <laughs> by, by the, you, you'll see some really, really cool maneuvering yeah. by Lane and uh, then Nick that Danny and I were forced to replicate. <laughs> yeah. to High the, skill. To the High skill. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They crushed it though, you guys. They, they told us we couldn't do it, so yeah. I was like, we have to do it now. Yeah. 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 If you do that row, do our special episode from Japan, you're gonna see all four of us. It's gonna be really fun. You're gonna see some high skill boat work. One of the most fun things we did, and some of you may know this as we are a big karaoke group, but we got to do karaoke, but it was one of those private rooms, and it was nuts. It was wild. <laughs> you just get people really belting out the song because it's not an audience, it's just amongst us, which we were very comfortable with each other, so it was great. Wayne I mean, and I had a little duet moment that oh I'll never forget. <laughs> it was so great. And when you have just like the crew of your people in the same room, it's very enjoyable because then you have a little bit more confidence. I think I get a little shy with other groups. I've literally been booed before in oh, no. Norway. So I didn't, I wasn't worried because if you guys were gonna boo me, I would probably still be going. <laughs> Yeah, it was so never. fun. It's super fun to be able to travel to all these different countries and all these different places and bring these different waterways to the hydro so that people can experience what it's like to be in these different places. We're bringing in the experience into the workout, even if it's a minute challenge or it's a 45 minute row, but really being able to like look at the shores and see the different houses along the way in, in um, Norway or in Lucerne, uh, the wildlife in Alaska, to get to bring that to you in your home uh, is is very unique and one of the reasons why I think we all love doing it so yeah. much. Get a little workout, get a little learn on, see something beautiful. What else do you need? Yeah. 
our friend from the boathouse gave us these, like beautiful, that's Mount Fuji, of course. And, and you can't see Mount Fuji from where you launch, where all the boats are. So you have to kind of go out and then you turn around this bend and it's just this majestic, stoic, massive volcano that's like snow covered and the way the clouds are around it. It's, it's stunning, it really is stunning. I think I can speak for all of us to say that we are just so excited for you to experience and row in Japan. We had an amazing time filming it. We always have a, a fun time traveling together and I'm really excited to hear, hear how you guys uh, like it and uh, see you on the water.